Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today we're continuing our series on how to raise the dead, or the kingdom authority to raise the dead. And um, I'm sharing from my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times, and this is part three. Um, today, I'm going to start off with the very, very important commandment that Jesus said. And I'd like for you to get your Bible and look it up. Matthew 10, 5 through 8 says, these twelve, these twelve, Jesus sent forth and commanded. Didn't ask, didn't request, didn't say I'd like you to do, but commanded them, saying, "As you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand." Number one, heal the sick. Number two, cleanse the lepers. Number three, raise the dead. Number four, cast out demons. Matthew ten. 5 through 8. Read that whole section. Very important. If God commands you to do something, He gives you the ability to do it, and it's His responsibility to do it, His part. He said, um, preach as you go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And these are what you're supposed to do. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. So if raising the dead was something we couldn't do, He wouldn't have given us the commandment and told us to do it. You, can, you see when He says, to his 12 disciples and he commanded them to do this it's because he wanted them to do it because it was important to him to do it it's part of his supernatural nature and part of their supernatural nature being children of God and that scripture oh that scripture I could just stay on that scripture um, okay first John 3 8 says for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he would destroy the works of the devil and what are the works of the devil uh, demons, sickness, lepers, poor, death, blind, um, destroying weather. Anything that Jesus did, he was destroying the works of the devil. He wasn't destroying. When he raised, when he raised Lazarus from the dead, if the death was from God, then Jesus would be working against God and raising the dead. And he would be destroying the works of God, not the works of the devil. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil, and everything he did was destroying the works of the devil, raising the dead, casting out demons, preaching the good news to the poor. Those were those were works of the devil that he was destroying. So if you got to get into your head that sickness, disease, death, poverty, lack, and fear, destroying whether anything that comes to kill, steal, and destroy, according to John 10.10, 10, is the works of the devil. Everything that Jesus did was against the works of the devil. So if you want to know if it's the works of the devil, find it in the New Testament. Okay. <clears throat> um, the works of Jesus was, his. he says, John 5, 36, But I have a greater witness for the works which the Father gives me to do, finish the same works I do, they bear witness of me. So, everything that Jesus did was the works that God gave him to do. Heal the sick, cleanse the leopards, raise the dead, cast out demons, um, cause the deaf and the blind to hear and see. They are witnesses that Jesus has risen from the dead. At that time, they were witnesses that Jesus was the Lord. And now, they're witnesses that Jesus is the Lord and He has been raised from the dead. Because we serve a live God, not a dead God. Okay? Um, and these are the works of Christ. Matthew 11, 2. Now, these are not the works of the devil. These are the works of Christ. The works of Christ overcome the works of the devil. The blind receive their sight, so therefore blindness is a work of the devil. The lame walk, any kind of lameness is a work of the devil because these are works of Christ. The lepers are cleansed. Leprosy is a work of the devil. The deaf hear. Deafness is a work of the devil. The dead are raised up. De being dead, dying, is a work of the devil. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. Being poor is a work of the devil. And that is all in Matthew 11, 1 through 6. Why were these works done? John 5.20 says, the Father, For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. God wants the world to know that he is alive. He raises the dead. He does supernatural stuff through his kids. We are the flesh that Jesus lives in today. We are the ones that have to raise the dead, cast out demons, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. Because Jesus was the flesh and body that God walked that Jesus walked in, that God walked in through the Holy Spirit, and now we are that flesh. Okay. Um, now, this is something that Jesus said that I wish we all would say. John 10, 37. If I do not do the works of my Father, don't believe me. 
That's really good. I like that. John 15, 24 says, um, If I had not done among them the works which no other man did, they had not sinned. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my Father. Then he says in John 14, 12, Very rarely I say unto you, He that believeth on me the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than thee. these. Why? Because I go to my Father. Then he said unto him, What shall we do that we can do the works of God? The answer was, Believe in him. Jesus, John 6, 28. So see, we're supposed to do the same works. This was not for the disciples. It didn't die the disciples. We are supposed to do the same thing, the same works. Because the qualification is, he that believeth on me. Now, if you don't believe on Jesus, then don't expect to do the same works. But if you believe on Jesus, then you should be doing the same works as Jesus and greater works. And that is Rome, uh, John 14, 12. Okay? And... John 6, 28. Now, Galatians 3, 5 says, He therefore that ministers to you the Spirit and works miracles among you, does he do it by works of the law or by the hearing of faith? And the answer is by faith. Okay, and some churches are dead, and this is what they believe. They profess to know God, but in works they deny him. Okay, raising the people from the dead is God's kingdom, God's authority, God's dominion, His government. It's enforcing the judgment against the devil. And as He is, so are we in this world. That's 1 John 4, 17. Uh, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more. I'm not sure where that scripture is. Uh, I guess it's the same area there. Okay, so the kingdom of God is in you. The anointing is in you. God gives you all all power to do this. It wasn't just for his disciples. It's for those who believe. Okay, you're supposed to do the same works. Now, um, I'm going to take a quick look at how Jesus Jesus uh, raised the dead. Um, he interrupted a funeral of strangers and he raised the dead. That's Luke 7:11. Uh, he raised the, the dead man was carried out and he had compassion on this woman, and uh, he he said, uh, "Arise." Young man, I say unto you, arise. He spoke words, and the dead person in the coffin at the funeral, okay, in a coffin at the funeral, not just fresh roadkill, okay? I mean, I believe we're supposed to, when people die on the spot in front of us in a car accident or whatever, we're to raise them from the dead, get them healed and everything else. But also, take it all the way to the funeral, to the funeral home, in the coffin, okay? And Lazarus was dead for four stinking days. Okay, um, so he had compassion on her, and we're supposed to have compassion. Fear came on them, and they glorified God, because he raised the dead. Now, in these last days, we need to do something powerful like that to raise the dead. Look at what's happening in the weather, and in, in terrorists, and just in our food, and everything is just going wacko, because the earth is just cracking under sin, and it's just going to get worse, but we're going to get brighter and a light. Okay, um... Somebody came to him and said their daughter was dead, Luke 8, 49 through 53. And uh, Jesus raised the child from the dead, and the parents were astonished. Luke, I mean in John 11, 39, um, this is when uh, Lazarus, when he raised Lazarus from the dead, he was dead for four days, and he stank. And raising Lazarus from the dead gave God glory, not sickness dying, but raising him from the dead. And also... Okay, so he raised a friend from the dead, and he ra um, raising someone from the dead shows God's glory, and it causes people to believe on him. And then in Matthew 27, 52 is a really strange one. The graves were opened up, and the bodies of saints who slept arose, and they came out of graves after his, after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. So those were people that might have been dead for 10, 20 years, who knows, um, or one year. They were dead and buried. Um, they were uh, dead and buried, and they appeared to many. Now, I don't know how long they stayed on the earth, and maybe they stayed and showed themselves, and then they got raptured and taken into heaven. That's kind of what I believe. Uh, I don't know. The disciples raised the dead. Um, having stoned Paul, they drew him out in the city, and supposing he was dead, but his disciples went round about him and raised him up. That's Acts 14, 19, 20. That's a missionary's death. Disciples raised him up from the dead. Then somebody was listening to Paul preach, and he took too long. And the guy fell out from the third window and was dead. And uh, Paul raised him from the dead. That's Acts 29. Uh, so preachers, if you preach too long and somebody dies in your sermon, just go raise him from the dead. Then you'll get everybody saved and 
on fire for the Lord. Um, Acts 9, 37, 40. Um, okay, Tabitha died, and Peter uh, raised her from the dead. See, Peter does it. Peter does it. Paul does it. Steve, um, I don't know if Stephen did or not. Women receive their dead raised to life again. That's Hebrews 11.35. So you see, raising the dead is not just for the 12 disciples because after the 12 disciples, other disciples do it. And it's for those who believe. It's for today. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's Hebrews 10.13. And like I said before, um, he that believeth on me the works that I do, he shall do also in greater works. And whatever you ask in my name, I'll do it that the Father is glorified in the Son. And that's John 14, 12. Um, okay, um, and now we are ambassadors for Christ. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the kingdom is in us in righteousness, peace, and joy. And in the Holy Ghost. And that's why we can raise the, raise the dead. Um, in the Old Testament, Elijah's bones brought a man back to life as they were burying him. He was dead, so they threw him in the grave, and he touched Elijah's bones and came back to life. Um, in Luke 10, it says, Behold, I give you power to trade on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So right there, you have power over all the power of the enemy, and we already established in um, How to Raise the Dead 1 that death is an enemy. So we have power over all the power of the enemy. And um, in John, 1 John 4, 4, it says, Greater is he that's in you than he who's in the world. So greater is the Holy Spirit in us than he who's in the world. That would be death, sickness, disease, poverty, lack, and fear. Under the rule of the small God, small G, God of this world, Satan. Um, and Ephesians 1, 22, all things he put under our feet. And we are the body of Christ. And if you also look in Deuteronomy 28, the curse is all about death. Deuteronomy 28, the curse says, uh, some of the things under the curse is no rest, trembling heart, failing eyes, anguish of soul, your life hanging in doubt before you day and night, having no assurance of life. That's Deuteronomy 28, 50, 65 and 67. And that is that God said, choose life or death. There's blessing and cursing before you, therefore choose life. So... Um, there, then tomorrow we're going to, on part four, we're going to go over some facts about death. And this is a, my favorite part of Raising the Dead, this uh, next couple of things about wrong believing and then what the scripture says. Uh, so my name is Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks with God. And tomorrow we'll do part four on how to raise the dead from my book, uh, Kingdom Authority to Raise the Dead from Feed My People Joy. And I'm out.